In astrophotography, I've always wanted to do a multi-night long project where I shoot the same target, maybe a galaxy or a nebula, for more than one or two nights, maybe three or four nights. I haven't actually gotten to doing this, mainly because of the weather. It hasn't been super favorable for me. But the main reason is that I want to shoot different targets every night so I can get more images. But with a few exceptionally clear nights up ahead, I thought I'd give it a try. Hi everyone, my name is Noah and welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm going to be photographing the Veil Nebula over three or four nights and I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Hey everyone, my name is Noah and welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing my biggest project yet and I'm going to be photographing the same region of space for three whole nights. I've never done a project this big before. Most of my images are taken on either just one night or maybe two nights. But I really want to see what three nights worth of data can really pull out in a nebula. I'm going to be shooting the Veil Nebula, otherwise known as the Cygnus Loop. With this relatively wide field setup here, this is my ZWO ASI 294MC Pro and the SpaceCat 51 telescope at 250 millimeters. And this will give me a fairly large view of the sky, just around the perfect size to frame up the Cygnus Loop. The Cygnus Loop consists of the Eastern and Western Veil Nebula, so it's a fairly big region in space. So I really need a really wide field setup to capture it. The Cygnus Loop is one of my favorite nebulae, maybe it's actually my most favorite nebula, and I really want to see what three nights of data can get with a relatively wide field setup. I really want to capture some outer gases and color within the Veil Nebula and get a really nice signal to noise ratio so I can get the cleanest image possible. So you may be thinking, well Noah, why is the Veil Nebula your favorite target? And I think it comes down to the colors within the Veil Nebula. There's lots of blues and reds, which correspond to the wavelengths HA and L3. And I think my favorite part about it is just how the colors blend within the nebula. There's equally as much HA as there is O3. And I don't think you find a lot of that in different nebulae. Most nebulae are either HA dominant or have different regions of HA and then different regions of O3. And I think the different colors in the Veil Nebula make it one of my favorite targets. So you may have noticed that I'm set up quite far in the backyard. Well, farther than usual, in fact. And the reason is because the Veil Nebula is quite low for me. And it's obscured by my house up until around 1130. So I just move my setup more west so the house is less of a problem and it can image the Veil Nebula sooner. So the equipment I'm going to be using to photograph the Veil Nebula is a very wide field setup. It is my ZWO ASI 294MC Pro and the Red Cat 51 telescope, or in this case the Space Cat because it's gray. And for the guide scope, we have the ZWO ASI 120MM Mini. And this is all riding on my Celestron AVX mount. Now even though this is a fairly wide field setup, I still have to rotate the camera a little bit to capture the entire Veil Nebula. Because the entire Cygnus loop is so big that with my Micro Four Thirds camera, it's not going to capture it all in certain angles. Hi everyone, so I just got the Mount Polar aligned and ready to go. The filter I'm going to be using tonight is Optolong Elkstream. Now the moon is around 30% full which I probably shouldn't be using the Optilong L Extreme. I should probably be using my Optilong L Pro for more broadband data. 
but I really want to use the same filter all three nights on this project. Anyway, I just want to capture as much nebulosity as I can, even if it means using a narrowband filter. So my plan is to take five minute exposures and in around one summer night, I can take around 50 five minute exposures. But since I'm doing this target for three nights, I think I'm gonna aim around 150 sub exposures. This should be a really decent number to stack and hopefully the image turns out well. Anyway, I'll see you guys later and hopefully everything goes to plan. One night down, just two more to go. Hey everyone, I'm back inside. I just finished my Veil Nebula project over four nights of data. I captured around 200 five minute sub exposures, which is around 16, maybe 20 hours worth of data. And I think the image turned out really nice. I really hope you like my image at the end of the video. And until next time, clear skies.